Hey guys, 370 Gaming here. We're back with TEW 2013, local to global. And I'm going to have to tell you right off the bat that uh, this is going to be a mediocre show compared to the last few episodes. Show, I mean my YouTube series, not uh, TTW Battle Lines <coughs> 2015, as you see right here. Uh, I just recorded about 40 minutes and, you know... Everybody's gotta have one, don't they? Fucking technical difficulties up the ass. I get fucked out of, you know, 40 plus minutes. I don't know what was going on. I had a bunch of background audio. I had a bunch of fucking... It was it was bad. And so I apologize for that. This is going to be not, not as good as the past few episodes. So I apologize for that. But uh, all the stuff I covered in the last 40 minutes, we're gonna have to go over it really quick. First... I was thanking you guys for subscribing and sticking around with me. I really appreciate it. I really, really appreciate your support. It's been very cool, very cool starting this up. So I really, I hope you guys continue to hang in there, and I will continue to upload weekly, even if I record for 40 minutes and fuck it up and have to make a bullshit uh, excuse or explanation. Um, I added a banner... A sweet banner, check that shit out, man. I'm I'm great at graphics, man. Don't fucking worry about it. I'm fucking awesome. Um Oh god, what else did I do? I changed the product to tentative style because the last style was much too physical. Everybody was getting gassed in five minutes and hurting each other, like fucking stiff Japanese wrestling or something. I didn't want that, so we got all this new shit there. Uh, I replaced the angles, so when I book the show, it's not going to be so cut and dry, so fucking ugh. Uh, we had to fire my boy Ace Hawkins and hire Apollo. Uh, Ace Hawkins was just... He, you know, I didn't have any plans for him. I had to fire him, and we had to make room for him, because Apollo has 60 psychology, which means he could probably road agent a few good matches. And he's a wrestler, so he could also wrestle, so that's nice. So that's a good thing. Um, oh my god. I, I, t I took some notes down before I had to, to stop. Oh god. The horror. The horror. Uh, the late the next show tonight is TTW Battle Lines 2015. I pre-booked three matches. We have ACH and Adam Cole rematch for the World Championship. Very disputed because I didn't fucking give ACH the title. He has the title now. You know, he was ruled by, you know, TTW board of directors, obviously. But, uh, you know, it was not an official title match. Therefore, there should be a rematch. So, uh, Kindred getting his debut match. Probably, you know, he's just going to fucking squash poor 17. You know, poor guy. You know, it sucks. And uh, thanks to a viewer, uh, going to put it up right now, should be Save Us Tie 2 j uh, giving me the idea to put Nelson Creed and Dalton Castle in a team, I figured it would be a good time to debut Marcus Crane with two dope. And I went through this big spiel in the last episode about how, you know, two dope's a fucking juggalo and Marcus Crane, you know, he's like a tattoo artist. They got that, like, urban lifestyle going on. And Nelson Creed and Dalton Castle, very refined, you know, N Nelson Creed specifically, very refined gentleman. The only man that could have enough class and elegance to team up with him would be Dalton Castle. So that worked out really well. So, um, yeah, this just sucks that, um, you know, all these fucking technical difficulties are going on. I'm kind of glad that, you know, it happened in episode three rather than like episode, you know, 57 where I'm like just like running on all cylinders and shit. And that was another thing. Uh, in the recording, I, I kind of went on and I was like, I'm unprepared. I don't really know what's going on. So, this is kind of a fresh start. I know what's happening. It should be a little easier. Uh, next episode, I'm going to have a lot more planned out. This is going to be really well thought out and really good. And, yeah, I'm sorry again that this all happened. But, it, you know, it's it's life, you know? I'm sorry. Um, oh, also, another reason. I'm going to hopefully upload on Sunday when you're watching this. It should be Friday or Saturday at the latest. Uh, I'm going to go for Sunday or Monday upload of 
night one of the PWG challenge on r slash fantasy bookers. Uh, we're going to do the, uh, it was, uh, uh, yeah, mildly amusing challenge for PWG with, uh, Bola. So that's going to be really fun. I've, I've started early plans. Schedule's kind of fucked up on that, uh, with the, you know, who you sign and everything, but it's cool. So I think I've covered everything I did in the last 40 fucking minutes. Hate my life. Um, but yeah, so we should be good to go. So I'll see ya at Battle Lines. All right, we are here. TTW Battle Lines 2015. We got the fucking high school gym. The same high school gym that we rocked two weeks ago. We're going to fucking rock right now. Don't fucking worry about it. Look at that. The success is giving a good backstage rating. This is good. This is good shit. So, we... Uh, those those pre-booking matches were had about two weeks of build-up. As far as I understand, uh, pre-booking build-up, you know, it, it works like real life. The, the further you announce, you can book matches. Da -da. Please note that. Okay, well, it doesn't say there, but I, I hear that it works like in real life. If you advertise something, you know, John Cena versus The Rock built up for a year to fucking WrestleMania is going to have way more hype than John Cena, you know, I don't know, versus Kevin Owens in, like, a week. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? So, that's as far as I understand it. So, book these matches uh, with two weeks build-up. So, you know, if you were in Las Vegas, you know, you saw the poster, ACH and Adam Cole, you're like, yeah, thank God that match is happening again because the world title was not given to anybody. It was ridiculous. So... Uh, I haven't thought about, should have thought about it, but I have not thought about the the booking of these major matches. Um, I'm probably just going to throw this together really quick. Hopefully these should be better matches too without the physicality and a road agent. So these matches probably should actually be a lot. Oh, see? See? Why didn't you tell me that last time, game? Or did you tell me? I just didn't know. I'm just going to put that there. We're going to work on it in a little bit. Kindred over 17. I have a pretty good idea how this is going to go. <laughs> I mean, five minutes is the max I would want to go for this. Kindred, the man with the supernatural connection. He's got something there. You just don't know. You don't know what's going on, man. It, it's it's fucking crazy. And uh, it's going to be... A, it's gonna be it's going to be a burial. I hate to say it like that, but it's definitely going to be a burial. Kindred is just going to fucking run a fucking train over 17, dude. I'm sorry, 17. But that's just how... Let's go four minutes. That's just how it is, you know? Sorry. That's how it is. That's how it is, man. Alright. And we have this excellent tag match. This is going to be really good. This is going to be probably the semi-main, if I had to guess. I don't see anything else being better than this other than the main event. <laughs> let's go 14... 14, 15, 14, 15, 15. Apollo, the road agent there. Who's going to win this match? Uh, let's come back to that. Let's come back to that. We're just going to put it on the thing. Put it on the show. Okay, okay, okay. So now I wanted to show you guys the, the angles. See here? Got all the... Oh, what the hell? Maybe the angles... I thought I changed the angles in the save file. Rather than, you know... Because I know I saved it so that if I started a new game with this data pack, it would it would start. But... And I thought I did it individually for this specific game. Did I not do that? Give me a second. I'll be right back. We're going we're gonna to look this up. Okay. So now... I should have all the angles. Uh, I had to edit the default ones, as well as I don't think I even imported them in the first place. Uh, now I have a mix, too. So, eh, you know, that, that's fine. I guess the more options, the better. You know what I mean? But one of them I want to do, the show opening. See? I just like, like straightforward. You know what I mean? We're going to have Kevin Kelly open up the show. He's just going to be like, welcome to the greatest company that I work for. This is it's even better than Ring of Honor. It's TTW in Las Vegas and this fucking high school gymnasium. That's right. That's right. 
So Kevin Kelly, you know, he gives the rundown. He says, you've seen the posters. You've seen the posters for two weeks. ACH, Adam Cole, rematch. Goes over the show. Goes over the show? Introduces the show? Yeah. Opens the show? Either way. Kevin Kelly, he's out there. He's talking about... He's talking about the matches. It's good stuff. <clears throat> um, okay. I'm gonna need more promos, obviously. I'm aware of that. Um, let's see. So I think what we're gonna do... Um, for this one, we put... The, the World Championship is there. Right, everybody? Okay. Yeah, let's, let's, let's get this out of the way, because I'm, you know, I'm so unsure and everything. Um, Adam Cole, I'm sorry, you're gonna have to take the loss, my friend. ACH is gonna have to get that win again, because this is practically a repeat. I know I'm like WWE over here running fucking, you know, pay-per-view main event, pay-per-view main event, pay-per-view main event, but, you know, the last show was just such a huge fuck-up. I mean, the physicality, there was no road agent, it was, it was awful. So, I mean, can you blame me for wanting to, like, redo some of this? Uh, Cap Strong, gonna be open. I don't want it to be all out, per se. It's gonna be decisive. He's just, he's gonna win, straight up. McCole's gonna be Cap Strong. Yeah, that's it. That's it, too. That's, that's it, you know. Adam Cole, you know, in the build-up to the match, he's just talking about how, you know, well... You'll see. He'll cut a promo. He'll cut a promo later on. So, we have the world title, correct? The world title is on the match. ACH, Adam Cole, right? Good to go. ACH to be victor. Okay. Thank God. Uh, we're going to do post-match. Title retain. Win. Let's do win, because I just don't know if... I mean, obviously, he's he's recognized as the champion, but... You know, he's he's gonna win it like he just is now presented with it. And it's gonna be another hard fought great match, so I think that makes sense. ACH celebrates title win. Okay. That's good. We're going to after Kevin Kelly introduces the show, we're going to do an in ring is it in ring or promo? Promo. Adam Cole talks about himself. So he's going to come out and he's going to he's going to talk about how, you know, what kind of, you know, I mean, I don't want to be, you know, I'm not trying to be fucking TNA over here, but Adam Cole is going to be like, "What kind of third-rate fucking company books a match? Don't even it's not even, you know, recognized as a title match." And then, you know, in a non-title match, you give him the title anyways. He's like, "What kind of bullshit is this you know i'm adam cole and i'm wasting my time with this third rate promotion what is this bullshit you know and you know i mean you just you don't want to you know come off like that but i mean that you know that's what happened he's he's very it's it's fair for him to say that i understand i understand his frustrations you know but uh you know the people are not gonna like that. They're not gonna like that. They they paid their two dollars to get in the in the gymnasium tonight, and they are f gonna feel very disrespected. You know, so Adam Cole, Adam Cole's Adam Cole cuts promo on TTW and ACH. Yeah, he's also gonna throw. And oh, by the way, I'm still obviously way better than ACH, if that was even necessary to say. Uh, can Adam Cole run unscripted? I don't know. Okay, fair enough. Scripted, scripted it is. Yeah, it's not a fucking shoot interview. <laughs> He's like, I don't know, they still paid me. Uh, <laughs> okay, so we got a good bulk of the show right now. We only need at least nine more minutes. Uh, I'm definitely going to run another match or two, probably another angle or two. But uh, this is pretty, pretty good here. Um, I'm gonna see who's not K I know Cage isn't on the show. Johnny Cockstrong, Kafu. Um we could do Oh, Marcus Owens definitely needs to get on this show. Definitely needs to get on this show. Let's do let's do who do what do we want to do? Johnny Cock I think I want Johnny Cockstrong to just come out and cut a promo, to be honest. 
or actually, I have a good idea here. Okay. So, where where would it be? Attack. Would it be attack? Is there specifically, is there like interview? Yeah. Interview. Is there interview attack? Because here's the idea I have in mind. Uh, so, Johnny Cockstrong comes out and is interviewed by Kevin Kelly. Uh, you know, he, he talks about just, you know, you know, hey, you know, I may have gotten beat, you know, by Nelson Creed last week, and even though he cheated, you know, which I'm not even going to debate that, it's, you know, it is what it is, I'm Johnny Cockstrong, I'm here to stay, you know, you're never going to take me down, you're never going to get me down, I, I'm, I'm great, you know, and the crowd loves Johnny Cockstrong, because he is God, you know, he's fucking, he's God, man. He, he's, he's your God, and you, you will all bow to Johnny Cockstrong. That's not what he says at all. That's a, that's a heel promo. But he goes out there and he says, you know, I'm not gonna get down about it. I'm not gonna beat myself up about it. You know, he cheated. You know, I'll get him next time. You know what I mean? And then all of a sudden, Cage just comes in and just fucks him up. And just, you know, why? You know, why are you such an asshole? You know what I mean? Um. So I'm not seeing, like, an interview attack. I'm only seeing, like, just attack, attack, I guess. I get attacked by... Yeah. Oh, pff, no. You're in a segment where... Yeah, so... Yeah, I guess you'll have to imagine the interview part. Or, you know, he doesn't have to be getting an interview. Johnny Cockstrong could just have, you know, some promo time. You know what I mean? So, Johnny Cockstrong cuts a promo and gets attacked by Cage. They call him Cage, and they call him Cage for a good reason. Johnny Cockstrong and Cage. So, let's actually make that a storyline. Let's make that... Oh, yeah, and while we're at it, we'll throw, we'll throw them into that storyline as well. Okay. So, the storyline is... Uh, they call him. <laughs> they call him Cockstrong. <laughs> uh, so we'll assume that the storyline is made after the first angle, obviously. After getting attacked by Cage, Johnny Cockstrong is out for revenge. Yeah, that's a that's a simple enough description, right? We don't need to be writing a full story here at our fucking, you know needing D minus heat minimum. You know, not gonna be that big of a deal. So Johnny Cockstrong and Cage. Uh looks good to me. Johnny Cockstrong is already in a fucking thing. He's already in Nelson Creed's storyline. Well Well, we're gonna change that. Sorry. Move worker. Do I have to type all that up again? I hate myself. Okay. They call him Kongstrong. Forgot what I fucking typed already. After <laughs> after getting attacked by Cage, Johnny Kongstrong is out for revenge. You know, and that'll be the, the, the pretty straightforward angle. I mean, you know, Johnny Kongstrong getting beat up by the big muscly fucking Cage dick. You know, so unrefined culture. We're just we're just gonna change. Um, uh, since Americans are all unrefined swine, uh, we'll just be like he aims to teach the people about culture through any means necessary. <laughs> Shout out to Farouk. Um, so we're going to throw in Two Dope. Plays a major role. We're going to throw in Dalton Castle. And we're going to throw in... Oops. And we're going to throw in... Where is he here? Marcus Crane. Okay. So, I think that's pretty good. I think that's going to be a good storyline. So, we got a few 
a few deals going on here. You know, as unprepared as this was, and with all the, with all the uh, technical difficulties and everything, I have I have a good feeling about this show. I don't know, I do. I just have a good feeling about this show. All right, who do we still not have? Kafu and Marcus Owens. <sighs> you know, I don't want to do that match because I wanted to build up Kafu, but you know, it's not like the WWE. I don't really have the resources to like save people. You know what I mean? Like, because if this was WWE and I just had whatever I wanted to do, I'd just be like, Kafu would just fucking run through people every day on Raw. Marcus Owens would just run through people every day on SmackDown. They'd eventually, you know, meet at fucking, you know, SummerSlam because <laughs> cause John Cena's got to be the main event for WrestleMania. You know that. Uh, yeah, and I would kind of build them both up as the unbeatable force, but I can't do that. And I can't just keep them off the show either, because you gotta build them up, so... Um, they're just they're just gonna have a fucking slobber knocker of a match. That's all there is to it. I think we're gonna run... We're gonna run ten minutes here. I don't know if this is gonna be too long, but, uh... Apollo... We're gonna do Kafu versus Marcus Owens... Um, you know, it, it's really hard for me to pick one over the other, because I really like both of them, and I really like the ideas I had for each of them. Um, gee. I could do some sort of, like, draw fuck finish, you know? Something that kind of keeps them both over. I mean, not every match has to have a clean finish, right? Let's go with that. Let's go with, um... They draw by, uh... Damn, double knockout? Jesus. Can I do that? What what constitutes a knockout? They don't make it up for a ten count? So stoppage, I guess, would just be like, oh, they're just fucking beating the shit out of each other so hard the ref just can't stand anymore. Knockout is they just literally... I guess they just both throw a right and they just go <coughs> and just fucking pass out. And then 10 count is obvious. Wait a minute, 10 count and count out? Am I missing something here? I understand double 10 count would be you don't make it up after the count of 10. But wouldn't that also be constituted under the knockout finish? Huh. We're going to say double knockout finish. I've never done it before. Never never done a double knockout. So we're going to do a double knockout. They just fucking... They're just going at it, and they just fucking throw a hard-ass right. Um, I don't know how, how a match would work with both of them being kept strong. I don't... I don't know. That's probably going to make the match really weak if they both are just keeping each other strong. Let's just go open match. And... Gee... You know, that kind of sucks. You, you you run into that occasionally. But this is the struggles with an early company. I mean, you can't really... You can't do everything perfectly. So they're just going to fucking knock each other out after ten minutes. I think that's a good... I think that's, that's decent. So let's go. We're going to move that over here. Uh... No, no, da, 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 da. Let's do... Let's open with the Kindred Squash match. Let's go into Kafu and Marcus Owens, just the fucking slobber knocker. Johnny Cockstrong cuts the promo, which will lead into Marcus Crane and Tudor versus Nelson Creed and Dalton Castle. ACH and Adam Cole and the ACH title win. Okay, now I'm pretty sure I'm not done with all these matches. Okay, I finished that match. I got Apollo booking. Okay. Kafu and Marcus Owens. I just did that, obviously. This was the match. I did not finish. Okay. I know everybody was freaking out. Oh, fuck. He forgot more. Ah. Uh, but it's fine. So. Let's see. So. Uh, Dalton and Nelson both won their last match. 
their each of their matches. Um, but I feel like if Marcus Crane came in and won, that wouldn't be too bad because we don't know what he's like yet. You know what I mean? So he just you know runs House of Fire, just runs in. You know, and there could be a little ego thing going on with Creed and Castle, even though Creed is you know allowed Castle to like be part of you know his 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 refined click he has uh you know that doesn't mean they're going to get along that doesn't mean everything's going to work perfectly you know so let's say that we're going to keep Nelson Creed strong uh Dalton unfortunately my my friend you're going to have to take the take the loss here uh it's going to be an open match um Work the crowd. I don't know if I'm gonna work the crowd on that one. It's decisive. Could it be flash? Should it be a flash pinfall? Should it be a flash pinfall. I don't think I want to just fucking put away Nelson Creed. It can be kind of shocking, you know? Like, oh, oh my god. You know, he hit his his generic crossroads finish, <laughs> and he got the pin. Um, yeah, okay, okay. So I think that's good. I think that's good. Apollo's booking it. Okay. And this match, Apollo's booking it. The title's there. Everything's good. I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope I did not miss anything this time. The product's been adjusted. Everything's been adjusted. Hopefully, this goes well. Let's run the show. Kevin Kelly comes out from his announcer booth, wherever he announces. And, uh, debuts a staff member gimmick. It's an A rating on that. E rating here. Not, can't expect too much. <sighs> We're absolutely wretched about. Devoid of action or heat. Kindred defeats 17. Got an A on the mystical gimmick. Yes. The intense physicality was still too much for the fans. At 22%? At 22%. Is this gonna... Is this gonna trash the rest of my show again? Seventeen's improving. Kindred is improving. Kindred is improving. Oh, I really hope that doesn't. Adam Cole cuts the promo, gets an E plus. Segment lifted the crowd. Ah, oh, shit. Intense physicality. <laughs> At least that makes sense for this match. Cause they just knocked each other the fuck out. Lifted the crowd. I guess that's all you can ask for. Mark Owens gets B plus. That's pretty good. Mark Owens improving. Cage got an A plus rating. That's great. Lifted the crowd. This is really good shit. E plus. That's really good. Really good. The matches are only gonna get an F plus. That really sucks. The physicality, man. I don't know what to do about that. Am I just supposed to have like no physicality? Like don't fucking touch each other? I don't know. It's twenty percent too high? Uh Marcus Crane got an A plus, A, not A plus, A rating. This is good. The gimmicks are doing well. I'm really happy to see that. And a lot of improvements are being made. So that's really good. I'm, I'm glad to see this. Excellent. D minus rating. That's great. And ACH one with the 450 this time that I wanted to see. About that, a good crowd and decent in-ring action. ACH defeats Adam Cole in 20 minutes, 15 seconds. With the best 450 ever. ACH makes defense number one officially of his TTW World Championship. They have great chemistry. It's too fucking physical. But it lifted the crowd. The storyline is advanced. And ACH celebrates. Confetti comes from the gymnasium rafter. You know, you can see, like, uh, you know, the local high school basketball team won, you know, the championship whenever, you know, those signs that hang up in the rafters. You can see confetti coming all the way down. And everybody is so excited. The segment lifted the crowd. They went home happy. That is great. Adam Cole walks off dejected. He is just so frustrated. Not only has he lost to ACH, he has lost twice. And he is still not even the world champion of this so-called third-rate promotion. Storylines are just not as good yet. I understand that. We drew more people and we increased our popularity. That, that is what I call success. Unless I go back now, from now, six minutes, and I and I see something I fucked up, I'm I'm pretty happy about this. This is good. This is good stuff. So, 
Um, let's see. So that was that was very very good. That was very good. ACH and Adam Cole still just doing fucking work. And um, Johnny Cockstrong Cage. It was Johnny Cockstrong's promo. <laughs> Well, just to change it up, we'll probably do, uh, we'll do Cage. He put on a good performance. He had an A-star, A-star, A A-plus A+ rating as, uh, his new gimmick, so. Not too shabby. Pretty good stuff. Oh, WWE ran Night of Champions. We might look at that, see how that goes. But, um, I'm pretty happy with that, man. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I feel like, with all the ups and downs, all the technical difficulties, all the bullshit, I think we got through and did a pretty good event. I'm pretty happy with it. So hopefully this loads at a decent pace. It's going... It was going just fucking bonkers, just really fast. Random incidents? That doesn't sound good. That doesn't sound good. Don't give me a random incident, please. Oh man. I really hope that is not Adam Cole got a fucking car wreck and died, you know what I mean? <laughs> oh my god, don't do that to me, please. Don't fucking do that. Oh man. Okay. So it's okay, Monday week one. So we should also have financial reports for the month. So where are we at on here? 15th. I think that's where we were last time. The feedback was that it has, it was it was better than you'd expect from a company that tiny. That's good. That's good praise. I like that. And we drew more people, so that's even better. Uh, let me just check really quick. I know I said I wasn't going to do this a lot of the time, but they drew 41,382 fans. Are you fucking kidding me? Holy shit, man. Daniel Bryan and Sting. Oh my god, Rollins and Cena, that's pretty funny. Oh, and he defeated him. That was a match. Undertaker, Lesnar, and Hogan, just hanging out in the back. Roman Reigns, Bray Wyatt, and Vince. I assume Reigns and Wyatt wanted a match or something. Daniel Bryan and Sting, I can only imagine. I can only imagine what happened there. But, so that's... That's something. Yes! Look at that! Oh my god! Oh, I'm so happy! That is so good! Look at that shit! Email! There were 14 companies involved in a regional battle in Southwest. You finished at number 12. And the TV network... Yeah, we're not getting a TV show, but that would be awesome. I'll take 12. Well, that's not dead last. You know? And for a company that was made, what, a month ago? month and a half maybe that's great oh man and you guys missed it cuz i i didn't uh you know we the, the 40 minutes lost before uh uh we were in financial crisis we, it, we said we we're going to go bankrupt and i was like no please don't go bankrupt and now we just made $4,246 profit that's so good that fucking sponsorship money man i knew i knew shopping around you know, selling out to fucking, you know, you know, Gary Shoe Store, you know, shout out to Meredith's children, uh, you know, Gary Shoe Store fucking plastering their logos everywhere. I knew it was going to be a good call. So that's fucking great, man. We sold a few shirts, sold a few TTW shirts. That's good. And we just, we drew more people. And that is just really good. So I'm really glad. Thank you guys for tuning in for one more episode of Local to Global. And I'll be damned if, if that isn't just a, a great, happy ending. This is just wonderful. All right, man. I'll catch you guys later.